Hello students, this is Arun and this online learning content has been brought to you by Vidya Jyoti University. So in this presentation, we'll be talking about bar operations and our topics would be introduction to bar operations, different types of bars, parts of a bar, bar staffing, bar equipment. So this is for the subject bar management for Masters of Photo Management and Catering Technology, fourth semester. Introduction to bar operations. In the food and beverage operation, the alcoholic and the non-alcoholic beverages play a very important role. Alcoholic beverages demand particularly the wine is changing and growing nowadays. To fulfill its demand, there are various types of bar in the market which sell the alcoholic beverages to the public to consume on the premises. It means that the bars are involved in the sale of alcoholic beverages, however, their main concern is to sell and consume the beverages on the premises. Types of bar. As we know, there are many different types of bars. So let us look at them. So types of bar and beverage operations. There are different kinds of bars operated by the hotel or outside the hotel, which are termed as standalone bars. The classification of bar and beverage operation is not an easy task as other food and beverage outlets because there can be so many blends of features. Some bars are attached with restaurants, some are associated with the lobby, lounges, etc. So a broad classification is one using the grouping bars and lounges. There are lots of differences among the operations in each of these broad categories. However, from the above stated discussion, it is surely recommended that the bar and lounge both terms are interrelated and their primary focus is on selling of alcoholic beverages to the public on premises. There are bars that serve beverages only with some offering light snacks such as wafers, peanuts, finger chips. However, some serve a limited food menu with beverages as their primary offering. There are public bar, cocktail bars, airport bars, piano bars, sports bar, wine bar, service bar, portable bar or mobile bar, recreational bars, in-room or mini bars. The term bar and beverage operation is to include all possible combinations of establishments serving alcoholic beverages. It simply means that one operation is not a bar and beverage operation. It is either a bar or it is a beverage operation, in other words, a lounge. Bar and beverage operations are defined by the goals and the type of clientele they serve. Some different types of bars are cocktail bar. The concept of cocktail bar gives a heavy push to the bar, to the bar industry in terms of modernization. The main focus and speciality of this bar is to serve various kinds of cocktails. However, the bar is fully equipped with different forte of alcoholic beverages which include whiskey, vodka, rum, gin, tequila, liqueurs, etc. So this kind of speciality bars is mostly seen at luxury hotels, airport cruises and casinos. A wine bar. In this era of modernization, a new concept introduced by hotels which is becoming very popular amongst wine connoisseurs and affluent people. So these bars, they sell various kinds of wine of different countries, regions and various grape varieties. Usually these bars serve most expensive wines. The menu is fully designed with various varieties of wine. However, different parameters like localization of product, food and wine combinations, most selling brands, customer preferences need to be kept in mind while designing the wine list of the bar. Moreover, the customers can choose from a selection of wine by the glass or by the bottle. Beginning with, inexpensive house wines and going up in quality and price as far as the entrepreneur cares to go. A full menu or fruit and cheese platters and upscales hors d'oeuvres can be served. There are inherent problems in running wine bars. The first is of course that serving only wines tend to limit the clientele to wine lovers. Some urban areas have enough wine enthusiasts to support a profitable enterprise. They respond to quality and expertise 
and they attend and appreciate special wine tastings, classes and wine cantered celebrations. Sports Bar This specialty bar offers a various type of entertainment, specially caters to sport fans and contains several televisions and often sports memorabilia. Further, the definition stated that the bar or tavern featuring various LED screens for viewing sporting events is known as sports bar. The speciality of the bar is to serve fresh or draft beer of various varieties. The bar is having a full forte of alcoholic beverages as well. This kind of bar often sets a fixed price or cover charge to guarantee a good profit because customer turnover is so small. Pub. The concept of pubs is has originated from Britain, where they usually serve beers in the outlet. The main focus of the pubs is to serve all kinds of beer along with other alcoholic beverages. These outlets run light music and there is no concept of dance floors in pubs. To market their products, most of the pubs were once owned by the breweries. Further, they are promoted by other business promoters. It is notified that originally they were owned by breweries to sell their beers in India. Cities like Bangalore and Mumbai have some of the finest pubs. Lounge bars. In this concept of bar, the guest feels more comfortable than the other bars and where the drinks are usually more expensive. The lounge bar usually located on the lobby level of the hotel. However, it is an area which is meant for relaxing. Most of the lounge bars serve all kinds of alcoholic beverages to the guest. In many establishments, lounges have their own bar, but the ones who do not have their bars, the drink may be collected from the main bar and carried on a tray to the lounge and then being served to the guest. Portable bars. The portable bars are also termed as banquet bars where they are designed for maximum flexibility and can be used in conjunction with beverage sales associated with guest activities anywhere in the hotel or on its grounds. They may be extended in resort areas to include recreational areas. Many outsourced companies and bars started the venture of bar catering as well as where they provide the various bar setups, design, beverage service in wedding, receptions, house parties, corporate events. The hotels usually use this temporary type of bar setup and banquet where they serve various types of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages during the event. Service bar. This kind of bar also termed as dispense bar, usually designed to help other outlets of food and beverage service department. The outlets who do not have their personal bars can collect their beverage orders from dispense bar. It may serve one or more food service areas and room service, and it is designed specifically for efficiently and economy of service. This bar also serves alcoholic beverages to the guests who dine in the restaurant. In most cases, the speed is considered the essential ingredient in service bars. Service bars typically are centrally located in the back of the house, out of the guest view. Mini bars. It is a new facility popular in many hotels in which individual rooms have often, often have a minibar, a small refrigerator or cabinet stocked with a modest inventory of snacks and drinks for the convenience of hotel guests. Cigar bars. One more addition in the bar and beverage industry, the cigar bar offers extensive cigar selection as well as single malt, scotch, whiskies and small batches of bourbon, cognac, port and they are filled with interesting upscale niche products. This kind of bars target the niche market and helps in generating more revenues to the outlet. The customers visiting these bars, they enjoy high price cigars, also have the opportunity to order premium spirits, wines, beers and after drinks to accompany them. Now let us look at different parts of a bar. So. The different parts of a bar, the bar itself is dependent on the functionality and looks. A straight line bar is avoided as far as possible as patrons are looking at the back of the bar and usually at themselves as most 
back bars are mirrored. The bar should be designed with respect to the volume of drinks that will be served from it and not only from the point of the view of Decker. The bar has various parts which are as follows. The front bar. The front bar is the customer area which contains the bar counter which is alcohol proof 16 to 18 inches wide and armrest along the front edge usually padded and vertical structure of about 42 to 48 inches called the bar die. A footrest along the front about 12 inches of the ground. These elements are parts of the public perception hence due care must be taken in their design. Back bar. The back bar has dual functions, decorative display and hard working storage and is the soul of the bar. It conveys an image, stimulates con conversation and displays wares and post information and logos. The base of the back bar is usually used as a storage space for bottles, glass frosters, ice machines and mechanical dishwashers and even cash registers. The underbar. This is the part that is beneath the countertop and is the workhouse of the bar and holds all equipments and supplies for the products that is being sold. The pouring station has the individual supply of liquor, ice mixes, glasses, blender and garnishes. The most popular drinks are in a special receptacle called the speed rail, an automatic dispensing unit called the cobra gun or handgun or six shooter is a big help in dispensing the mixtures. It also contains a sink for washing, bottle coolers, draft beer dispensing unit, plumbing and electric lines. The standard width is three feet between the back bar and the under bar. The bar floor. The bar floor should be hard and non-porous, example tiles for the comfort of feet, but spills and breakages are higher. Bartenders are on their feet for hours. Carpet and woods are not recommended. Rubber and plastic mats used to minimize slippages but must be cleaned regularly. Bar organization. Now we will discuss about the different staff which work in a bar. So the bar is headed by the bar manager. The bar manager is responsible for all functions of the bar and the dispense bar. The responsibilities of a bar manager include the following recruiting staff and training them for bar operations, supervising alcohol service, forecasting volume of sales, maintaining a close watch on the movement of bottles, preparing budget for bars, formulating beverage control system, maintain high quality of services, handling guest complaints. He is followed by a bar captain. So bar captain, he or she is responsible for the overall functioning of the bar and his or her duties include the follow, following. Supervising bartenders, scheduling rota and day off for the bar staff, receiving stock from the seller against the requisition, maintaining bar stock level in the bar, training staff, bar staff in making cocktails, preparing glasses for drinks, garnishing drinks, service procedures, recording orders and so on, taking closing and opening stock, maintaining empty bottle record, assisting the bar manager in his daily duties and relieving him during his day off and holidays. Bartenders. They are responsible for the following. Mixing and serving drinks to guests seated at the counter, pouring required measures against BOT, also known as the beverage order ticket, for bar waiters to serve guests at the table, washing glassware and bar tolls, recording sales, receiving cash from the guest or getting bills signed by residential guests, taking note of their room number, establishing good relationship with the customers, taking opening and closing stock. Bar waiter or waitresses. So they are responsible for the following, keeping the mise en place ready for the beverage service at the table, recording beverage uh, order on BOT and collecting them from the bar, serving guests alcoholic drinks at the tables in the bar, restaurants or lounge, collecting clearing glasses and leaving them for wash, collecting payments from the guests or getting the bills signed by the residential guests. What are the different bar equipments? So we will look at the different bar equipment. 
dispensing equi equipment. So these consist of automated dispense systems that dispense aerated beverages through a Cobra gun. They are very convenient and some gu guns dispense up to 10 different types of beverages from water and soda to colas and tonic water. Beer panel. So this is a dispensing point from which beer is served or pulled. It consists of three main components, taps, in instantaneous coolers and drip tray, mixers and blenders. So these units have their uses in the bar in mixing drinks. Mixers are used to blend drinks that incorporate ice in them like slushes and frozen drinks. They are also used for large volume drinks. Blenders on the other hand are used as an alternative for cocktail shaker for faster dispensing. Washing equipments. This could be a simple three sink arrangement with drain boards used in conjunction with glassware brushes, pressure hose, hand wash unit and towel rack and waste bin. Alternately, it could be an automated glass washing unit with full cycle of washing, rinsing and drying of different capacities for customized application. Ice machines. This is a unit which bar cannot do without as ice is required and plentiful. Selection of ice machines will depend among other factors such as shape of the cube for quick chilling without diluting, clarity, density, size for easy blending and output. Apart from ice cube machines, a bar may have ice flaker and a ice crusher unit also. Storage equipment. So a bar requires a lot of storage space for the storage of various items like liquor, mixes, wine and beer bottles, garnishes and other services. So a provision should be made for liquor cabinet, unrefrigerated, wine coolers, beer chillers and refrigerators to store juices, premixes, garnishes, glass frosters and shelving to store display bottle and glassware. Bar equipments. Now we will talk about some tools and small equipment. So these small tools are usually made up of steel for the durability and ease of maintenance. Jiggers or peg measurers. They come in various shapes and sizes like 30 ml, 45 ml, 60 ml and 90 ml capacities. Pourers. Pourers are devices attached to the neck of a bottle for quick dispensing called a free pour. Measure control pourers are called optics. Cocktail shakers. They come in two forms, the three part all metal Manhattan shaker and the two part Boston shaker with one glass and one metal part. So the glass part is also used as for mixing drinkings. The ice is strained from a Boston shaker using a Hawthorne strainer and a spring loaded strainer with a handle. Bar spoon. A long bar spoon is used to stir built up cocktails and taste. Ice scoops. Ice scoops come in metal or plastic version, the later reducing noise and chipping of glass. Muddler. A muddler is used to mash mint leaves or lemon can be made from and it, the muddler is made from hardwood or nowadays a hard plastic. The other bar equipments are fruit squeezers and glass rimmers and they are these are frequently used in a bar. Condiment tray. A condiment tray is handy for storage of garnishes, swizzle sticks, straws and some other material. Bar knife. Zester and waiter friend or corkscrew complete the essential along with the beverage round or salver. Conclusion. So in this presentation we have seen that beverage service is a major component and has remained an important part of hospitality industry today. The beverage services are provided by various outlets of food and beverage department in the hotel. So these outlets are bars, room service, banquets, restaurants, 24 hours coffee shop, lounges etc which serve alcoholic as well as non-alcoholic beverages. The alcoholic beverages demand, particularly wine, is changing and growing nowadays. To fulfill its demand, there are various types of bars in the market which sell the alcoholic beverages to the public to consume on premises. It means that bars are involved in the sale of alcoholic beverage. However, their main concern is to sell and consume beverages on the premises. So sources of this presentation have been taken from EPG Patshala, from Food and Beverage Operations Management and Food and Beverage Service Management by Sudhir Andrews. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask questions at hod.hcmi at gmail.com. And keep learning. A big thank you from Vidya Jyoti Adversity.